The silver just formed this cup and handle setup. And whenever we see this, it is also suggesting that it should start trending much higher soon. And it is very similar to the goal at the end of last year that we have discussed this cup and handle setup as well. And then my projection for the goal was that it should start trending much higher soon. And from 2000 US dollars, today we are at around 2600 US dollars. And I believe there's more upside to go. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. Before we discuss about today's topic, please do take some time to read through the disclaimer. And I thought that I should focus purely on the technical aspects on how we should position ourselves in getting into silver. And in most of my analysis, I will try my best to support my technical views with the fundamental development. And my fundamental views for the precious metal, especially in, in its long-term uptrend, has not changed. And for that, I will include the past videos, their links, and the description below. And let's deep dive into this silver analysis right now. And if you notice that what I'm looking at here is the yearly chart, it means that every candlestick that we're seeing is one year. And I find really interesting perspective when I look into the yearly chart for silver. And what we could see here on this year itself, it opened here. On this year itself, it uh, closed, open, closed, open here. And this was a high. It was a high. and But as of now, it seems to have breached this neckline of this cup and handle. And of course, what we are seeing here is the yearly chart. It means that we have to wait until December to have it as a completion of this cup and handle. But I think sometimes it's good to anticipate a little bit with good grounds. And if you remember the past videos, not that long ago, uh, maybe about four months back, I produced that a silver is a laggard and a silver will ultimately pick up the gold rally as we have a deep dive into the past behavior. So that was what we have discussed. But let's look at the goal before we come back to the silver again. And goal at the end of last year, it closed really strong. And this is a three month chart. And it's always good to look at different time frame as it gives us different perspective. So that was goal at the beginning of this year. And if you notice at the last day of 2023, it closed way above 2000 US dollars. And the past few years, we could see that gold struggled to close above 2000, but it failed a few times. But at the end of last year, that's what we saw. And I was quite convinced that for the rest of the years, and I believe uh, many more years to come, that I'm expecting then at the beginning of this year, that gold will have this tremendous uptrend. And it did, it performed very well. And just to look at what happened to gold and silver, it's always good to also look at the demand for the gold. And what we're seeing here is the uh, volume on the CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, on the gold and silver, especially the last few quarters that we could see it pick up tremendously. And this was, this is this quarter, which is not ending yet, uh, going to end in uh, September. But we see that uh, compared to the past quarter, it picked up tremendously for the gold and it also picked up tremendously for the silver as well. So I hope that that will give, you, give us some hint on it's not just a price, but the demand it is also, also there. And let's look at the silver um, on the, a bit on a shorter term perspective. And this is the neckline of the cup and silver. I leave it there. But what we're seeing here is that daily chart is also good that not just on the long-term perspective, sometimes we also have to zoom into the a little bit of short, shorter term that we're going to see the volatility of that this contract or this product itself. So this is a neckline. And as usual, I would like to always draw this prim, primary uptrend line and secondary uptrend line. So my objective for silver precious metal is to buy on dips. Um, so what you can do now is that uh, what I'm seeing here that it sit very well on this neckline. Of course, if you want to take a little risk here, you can buy 
around here with a measured risk. Of course, if you want to um, bargain a little bit, you may wait for some retracement to come, which I believe that this will be the first support before you start to move back up and try this neckline again and before you break and go. So either way, uh, I find that it's a good entry point. It really depends on your risk appetite. And recently, I received a question regarding the precious metals continuous uptrend. And this participant asked that central banks around the world are buying gold as a hedge against inflation, or is it they're buying gold to de-risk the US dollars? And my reply is this, both. Gold serve as an inflation hedge and also act as a currency against the US dollars. And the past videos, I mentioned that um, ultimately silver, as we discussed about the past behavior, silver will catch up gold and silver is a laggard. The market are always telling us on their next move. You can visit my past videos and this playlist on inflation and commodities. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you on what is about to come. Really happy that I stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.